This is me driving to Chesterfield full of enthusiasm for the particular task that I'm about to embark upon. A little mission, a big mission, a road trip with Boaty. It's going to be fun, I hope. Well, I appear to have arrived a little bit early. That's possibly down to the bank holiday traffic. Boaty said yesterday, don't come any earlier than 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. Don't come earlier than 10 o'clock. Yes. Probably because he's still sat around in his dressing gown and cravat, smoking his little head off around the back. The people on his street really must think he's a rather unusual chap indeed. Not only does he look different, speak loudly, is flamboyant, but all of these silver rovers everywhere, and seeing a different man altogether in a silver rover. Maybe their perception of the world is different to what other people's are on other streets. That would be the easiest explanation. Anyway, I'm hungry. Who's the most British of us two, do you think? The most British? Mm. Oh, yeah. Me? Yeah. Why? Well, because you're 100% British. Yeah. I'm not. What? Were well, you Greek or something? Head west on Main Bermuda. Road towards Baslow Road. A six one nine, then turn left onto Baslow Road. Oh, sorry, it's this, isn't it? I wonder what was doing all that shouting then. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like we're going on a holiday, doesn't it? it does it feel like we're going on a honeymoon? That that cable might start to get in the way a little bit. A what? The steering wheel. <laughs> Look. Well, can't you put it around the other side? The other side of what? Uh, that side. No. Can't you wrap it around there so it's out of the Can't way? Can't you just cope with it? Like a <laughs> like professional a driver. No, you're messing with my microphone now. Adopt, adapt and improvise. Or necessitas et mata inventum idiacana. Um, so that is one minute in. Let's set off again. Right. Are we there yet? <laughs> well, I'll tell you what's interesting actually. You saying that you are uh, Bermudan. Well, you uh, wasn't born in Bermuda, were you? No. My heritage is Bermudan, partly. Technically I'm one quarter Bermudan. My maternal grandfather, the test cricketing rapist, was Bermudan. <laughs> <laughs> What about if we had a conversation that didn't involve podgering at all? How about that for a challenge? Well, that would be a first one. Look, here's a challenge for you. How far is this from your home? Not very far at all, is it? Not very far, no. And there's a little there. Yes. Yeah. I think it's about time you went in there. It didn't used to be there. No. No, I don't want to go in there. Go in, go in there. Why? Explore the middle aisle. Pretend that you just going in there for a joke or a novelty and buy some stuff, take it home and discover that it's actually a lot better than you realise. A619. Oh, right. It's set off recording again by itself, so best say something funny, mate. There's a woman there with a child on her head. She had child-bearing ears. Oh, look at the sign. Posh, isn't it? This is going to be good. Letting you know that you can be in either lane to yeah. me would mean you you would assess both of the lanes and make a choice to be in the most effective lane. And the most effective lane isn't going to be the one where you step behind the bus. No, it's stuck down. This yeah. is a very slow traffic light cycle. The bus will be slow set enough. And we're not going to get through on this cycle. The bus will be on just as quick lane. as everything else. No, it won't. It will. It won't. It will. Oh yeah, look at the lumbering grace. Look how quickly it's setting off. Yeah, and look at these lights turn red and we're not going to get through. We'll see, won't we? If that car gets through and we don't, then I owe you a fiver. Oh. You've just gone through a red light. I haven't gone through you a red did. light. You did, you went through. Exit 
That did, was not a red light. Did you not watch Rolf Harris? Don't be an ambler gambler. Or is that Jimmy Savile? I don't know. It's very easy to get your 1970s paedophiles mixed up, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Who's your favourite Jeremy Vine? Who's my favourite Jeremy Vine? Yeah. Jeremy Vine. This is like, who's your favourite Noddy Holder, but with a different name. Yeah, yeah. Right. Similar concept. So, what's the correct answer to that? Are you going to say there is no correct answer to it? There, there is no correct answer to it, but it's a personal choice, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So, are you, do you mean, is my favourite Jeremy Vine the one that we all know off Radio 2, or a different Jeremy Vine that maybe nobody's heard of? Is it not possible for you to just answer the question using your own mind rather than get me to do your thinking for you? I'm not, I'm just trying to clarify the question. You'd never be able to choose between fish fingers and chicken nuggets. Fish fingers. Really? Yeah. Okay. I don't need to ask anybody else for that one. You're the type of person who, I bet you've eaten a fish finger sandwich in your life. Of course I have. I haven't mentioned so far in my video before getting to you what car we're going to buy. And we are going to buy it, aren't we? We are going to buy it. We're yeah. not just going to go and look at it. No, 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 no. We're, we're going to do a blind buy. Yeah. Because I have, I've already committed to purchasing this car. Have you paid a deposit? No. Right. That's not the same thing, is it? You might get there and go, oh, sorry, lads. First come, first serve. <laughs> they speak like that in Colchester, don't they? I've never been to Colchester. You have 20 seconds. Go. We are going to look at a 1978 Rolls Royce Silver Shadow 2. There you go, I didn't need 20 seconds. No, not when, you, not when you're lying, of course you don't know. No, I was checking at the speedometer. Why? I was just seeing how slowly we were going. We're doing 60. Yeah, it's quite slow really, isn't it? It's a, it's a good speed for fuel economy. It is excellent speed. And speed fuel economy is quite important today. Then in that case, can I suggest that you trawl the M1 for a National Express coach? And, and drive right up its arse. Drive right up its arse, yes. Yes, and just hope it doesn't need to stop suddenly. Well, that's a minute gone by if you're not explaining what the car is. I did explain what it was. Gabby, too many people indicate what they don't need to do. And what that means is that you just see indicators, like indicating to get onto the motorway. I know you're supposed to do it, but where else are you going to go? Indicating to pull back in when you've overtaken them. You don't need to do that either. It's itself on and off, that's how it works. No, 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 <laughs> quarter Bermuda, actually. Quarter Bermuda. This is what always happens. I try and explain something to you, and you get carried away with, with over explaining something that. Because you're wrong. I'm not wrong. You are I'm wrong. Not, I'm not wrong. I have to mansplain to you because you have a very feminine way of thinking. Jesus. No one's ever said that to me before. Well, there you are. And if you want to know what is a feminine way of thinking, then just take a male way of thinking and take out rationality and logic. Ah, but what I'm... Do you realise how strange you are sometimes? Well, Only sometimes? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I'm not the most practical man in uh, a room of about five blokes, but... Oh, I reckon you would be. <laughs> right, but you, you're, you wouldn't be the most... You'd be the least practical man in a room of a hundred blokes. I absolutely would, yeah. Yeah, and you're trying to well, mansplain things. Well, it depends how you, yeah, it, that depends how you define practicality. It's as if she's named after something that she might like. What would you really like today, my darling? I would like a man to hold them. Why not just not fit them in the first place and then that would save weight and that would save fuel? Well, that extra axle means it can carry more weight. But wouldn't they have to be on the road in order for it to legally carry more weight? Yeah. So it's cheating? Really, no. They're lifted when it's not carrying weight to save fuel and they're, they're lowered down so they can carry more weight when they're carrying more weight. Okay. 
So does that mean that if you had a really big poo, you could then lift your wheels up? Yeah. 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 I recorded that bit deliberately because I knew you were going to be confused by the. How many refugees do you reckon you could get in that lorry? Ooh 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 ooh. Ba 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 ba. Sell your car to the mustard and booty. It's hassle-free. You'll like us a lot. And we probably... Presumably you did, but you didn't realise. Come and get your black bin bags. Leak testing. We're open till December. <laughs> <laughs> and a flask of Earl Grey tea. Earl Grey, really? Yeah. Genuinely? Yeah. Gosh. Yeah. I like Earl Grey. Check you out, being all possible. You should like Earl Grey. Who's your favourite Earl? Oh, great. Really? Go on then. Right. Who's your favourite Nigel? Oh, um. Oh, well, cue the Farrah's joke, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> well, honestly, my favourite Nigel on that would be Project Nigel. Well said. Yeah. Not Nigel Avers. Oh, he's a good Nigel. Oh. Yeah, I mind that whole people living in that. Look, bollocks. What? Kind of. Oh, yeah. That number plate's bollocks. N Mansell, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, too. Top class, Nigel. Although, we don't like Nigel Mansell on this channel. No, we don't like. For reasons that I spoke about at length in a life. Yeah, because his moustache tried to um, get in the way of your doings, didn't it? No, his moustache tried to get in the way of my woman's doings. Yeah. Well, as you said, mine. I wouldn't have minded mine, I'd have been quite flattered. Have you ever had a moustache? I can yes. picture you with a moustache. Oh yeah, I've, I've frequently had a moustache. Really? Yeah, yeah look I've never done. She's hefty. Yeah. Nigella Lawson. She's well not hefty. hefty. She, she's well she's hefty. She's not. She is. She's all boobs and hips. Yeah. That's hefty. That's not hefty. It is. That's that's the shape of a woman. It's the shape of a hefty woman. No wonder you can't get it up. Yep. The one thing that in my mind is absolutely essential is a vinyl roof. Because I without... did all this before when I wasn't recording. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I'm doing it now. That we're no, no, I don't want this in my video. I don't want... This isn't going in my video. I don't want your viewers buying a Shadow 2 without a vinyl roof. They'll regret it. And regret is very nearly the name for a baby eagle. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's only one letter difference. So, as I see it at the moment, Bolty is trying to ruin my video and make it like his by just constantly talking about stuff that isn't relevant and having a cable right in front of your eye line to distract you. Well, if, it if was any... out of your eye line, but then you said it was in your hand line. Yeah, yeah, I don't really want it on the steering wheel. Well, it's not on the steering wheel now. No. Okay. Listen, for a man with OCD, Surely you would find that immensely irritating. There. Do you know what? That's really weird. Because I can see your head in that loop now. Looks like you're about to hang yourself. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a long journey with you, anybody would. <laughs> so why don't we talk about the car that we're going to buy? Which is a Rover. It is a Rover. A yeah. Rover. Last. Go on. A Rover what? It's a... No, it's not a Rover what? It's a... It's a 1954 <laughs> Rover 75 to buy blind. But there are occasions where it will happen quite naturally and... Uh, or oh, can I say organically or even orgasmically. Quite a good uh, Welsh accent, I'll uh, give you that. Now kindly be aware that sometimes... Oh, what, what was that? <laughs> what sometimes! Was that? <laughs> we're going to buy ourselves a car today and we won't take no for an answer. We're buying it even if we don't want it. It's because it's Windsor Davis's birthday today. <laughs> Windsor Davis. Who's your favourite Windsor Davis? <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, we've stopped at Leicester Services. Is that right? Uh, yeah, Leicester Le Forest East. Leicester, uh, so that I can have a cup of tea. Oh, you can have a cup of tea. I'm gonna have a cup of tea, and I'm going to visit nice. the the little boys' room. For a shit. <laughs> It's going to be a lovely car, it's going to be a lovely car, it's going to drive it home. Where's my other up? I almost lost my cup of tea just then. And, I, do you know, Bolty mate? Yes. I'm going to go and check on my dinner. See my dinner? Yes, please. Right, okay. Watch this. Oh, you got sausages warming under the butter. I'm going to be so Oh my god. Oh my god, that is genius. And they've stayed there. Are they fast? Yeah. Oh, fast. Uh, bacon sandwich. I don't want to destroy the foil. What the fuck is that? <laughs> That looks disgusting. It's not disgusting. What is it? Gammon. It's not cooked. Well, it's not cooked yet. It's only been there for a couple of hours. You're actually cooking it in the engine, you fucking hairy lunatic. That's your idea? Yeah. Oh my God, engine cooked gammon. Yeah. <laughs> That is so weird. Thank you. That's yeah. no microphone. I'm, I'm, I'm not repeating it. I've got it on my video. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I'm not providing content <laughs> for you. That <laughs> doesn't work there, does it? So, yeah. Uh, but it's going to be another two hours and 45 minutes before we even get there. We may as well be going to bloody France for a car. Anyway, I wish I'd brought along a bit more tin for it. Because opening that up to have a look just then did rip the foil somewhat. By the time my meat's cooked, it's going to be spilling uh, piggy juices all over the block, isn't it? My car will forever smell of gammon. Nice. I put black pepper on it. Beef burger. <laughs> oh, a, a battered beef burger. Yeah, that was a thing in our local chippy. Really? Yeah, they sold battered beef burgers. I'd imagine a battered beef burger would make you feel sick. It did. Morris Micklewhite. Yes. Is almost as good as Mickey Stick. Who's Mickey Stick? Michael King. Oh, right. Oh. I see. Yeah, no, so if right, a wind turbine will kill a bird, yeah. it won't do it deliberately, it'll yeah. just it'll just carry on spinning its arms around like a man having a fight uh, straight out of the pub I mean, because the cabbage shop is closed. Couldn't you argue that it's the bird's fault? What, for not looking where it's going? Yeah. Yes, you could. I mean, I've never been killed by a wind turbine. No, but you, can, you can't fly. That's not the point. Well, it is a bit, because the only way you could get killed by a wind turbine blade would be by it falling off onto you, or by flying into it. No, what about just walking underneath it and get my head knocked off? Well, how tall do you think you really are? I think I'm 6'5". Yeah, but the, the, the bottom of the blade isn't isn't 6'5 off the ground. No, it's, it's closer. It's not. Say that again. I like the smell of animals. Right, yeah. When you get up, up and close with them and stuff, and yeah. think, mm, what does this animal smell like? Or when you're frying them. <laughs> so you don't like them when they're just alive in a field? No, I like them when they're alive in a field. Yeah. And I like them when they're sizzling in a pan. We've met up with the bank holiday traffic, where the joy of sitting amongst strangers in their cars is about to happen for a long time. I haven't got a sausage roll. And he hasn't got a sausage roll. And we do. 
what we're going to have to do now is pray for Bolte. Yeah. Pray. Or find me a fast drill. That's a bit unnecessary, isn't it? You're beeping at the car for pulling out when it was all. Who was doing the beeping? The one in the golf there. Was it? Mm. Surprised he's not doing a lot of flashing as well. Driving right up his ass. Here I have an important question, and that is we have the choice of being in a traffic jam on the motorway, or uh, A road, dual carriageway, or going through towns and villages. Which do you prefer? Um, well, when traffic is at an absolute standstill on the A road, I prefer going through towns and villages. Oh, me too. And one good thing about that is you're much more likely to find a sausage roll outlet. Exactly. You know, and at this point, it's kind of gone past pig sausage roll. I'd settle for a chip shop hot sausage. Would you? Yeah. It's like there are bound to be American things that I like. Yeah, right. So you like McDonald's? You yes. like American cars? I get the American cars then. No, I don't like all American cars. You like line dancing? Yeah. Anything else? Well, American things that I like. Yeah, that normally your, your proper British gentleman would uh, just turn his nose up. There were some television programmes I liked. Right, yeah, I don't mean South Park. <laughs> yeah, I did like South Park. Yeah, well, that's understandable. I like do, you, do you like American humour? I like some American humour. Because the stuff that we like in Britain, I America, she is, is taking. Is take, uh, uh, yeah, Frasier's kind of a bit smart ass stuff isn't it so fair enough on that one we don't uh, like friends i used to i used to love friends seriously i've got the box set i've got the full dvd box set every single episode from beginning to end uh just pulled over because both needed a break and i need to charge my microphone bobbing up and down bobbing up and down bobbing 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 up and down bobbing bobbing Bobby, 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 that's about one octave, but I've got that. Yeah, but that's why I say my hands are bigger. Or five times bigger. Maybe not five times bigger. No. Maybe, maybe a key. Oh, no, no, I got five octaves was the voice. My voice could do five octaves. Glad you're not confused. I don't know, I don't like it myself. Do you? No. Good. Which is your favourite? The first one. Yeah, mine too. False. I know it's true. Alf, <laughs> Alf pickles on sandwich tree. Yeah. That's Jake. Yeah, yeah. Boat has gone off to go and get a sausage roll. Has he succeeded? You've got one. Yes. You've got a sausage roll. A hot one. Wow. Amazing. It is amazing. Would you like half? Nope. But thank you for offering. <sighs> right, what's our APA now? Break over. Let's roll. I've just had a hot sausage roll. Yeah. Let's host hot sausage roll. <laughs> Bike is just a... I've enjoyed statutory paternity leave for four out of the last five years. I'm single and don't have any kids. Work have never checked for proof of an actual baby, but just to be safe I have a Google random baby as my phone screensaver and change it every time I become a dad. <laughs> it's got to be the lumberjack song. I go shopping and have buttered scones for tea. That's yeah. Brilliant. Oh yes. You know who'd approve of that, don't you? Buddy shit, please. Yeah. They, they call him.
Somebody shit me, because he shits me. Yeah, him. Yeah. You don't know just how much this car actually suits you as well. Really? Definitely. Yeah. I absolutely adore it. You've finally driven a proper Rover. This is this is the best car that I've driven since I came out of the since I came out of the game. This is. Say that again. It genuinely drives as well as a Rolls Royce. Better in some respects. You really don't get that kind of thing said very often, do you not? Everything about it is just exactly how you want it to be. It's fabulous. It's beyond fabulous. We was going to convoy all the way back, but it's not really going to happen due to uh, the time that it is already. The time currently is already five o'clock. 220 miles to get home so he's going to take his time and I'll speak to him later oh, if the human brain was simple enough to understand we wouldn't be clever enough to understand it <laughs> 